You know, if I was a more paranoid person, I would say they looked at my Twitter page and they saw that I was off today and they put this announcement out thinking I wouldn't have a reaction to it. All right, let's talk about it, Chad. I'm not paranoid. You're paranoid. This isn't a tinfoil hat. If you missed the announcement, uh, Book of Exalted Deeds is banned in 2022 standard. Now, you might be wondering, what is the Book of Exalted Deeds? You know what? Let's look that card up because by Wizard's own admission, it isn't even particularly popular. So this card says, tap three white when your three white artifact, exile the Book of Exalted Deeds, put an enlightened encounter on target angel, it gains, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game, activate as a sorcery. So the issue is this card is getting combined with Faceless Haven, which is all creature types. So as early as turn six, Faceless Haven can become a creature and then you pay three mana with the Book of Exalted Deeds and you put a counter on this thing that says, you can't lose you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. And then Faceless Haven stops being a creature and becomes a land. And then if your opponent's deck can't interact with lands, they're just locked out of the game from there. So Wizards has said, while this deck is neither dominant nor popular, it was a very frustrating experience. Listen, Wizards of the Coast. I'm not sure if you've played Constructed Magic the Gathering, but there are a lot of Magic the Gathering decks that fit this description. And it's it's kind of baffling to me that we've selected this particular one to pick out as this one's not okay. And honestly, to me, this ekes as wizards caving to people complaining on Reddit or what, whatever. And for the record, I don't think banning things that create frustrating play patterns um, is necessarily a bad thing, but I would give lots of examples of other things that readily create frustrating play patterns, but I'm having a bit of a memory lapse and I can't quite brainstorm into or express myself as to what other decks and other formats on Magic Arena would fall into this, this category. Oh! Maybe it's just because this format's best of one, though. They said there's no ability to sideboard against the combo, which there's considerations for that. Gosh! If only there was a way for Magic Arena to support to support games of Magic with sideboards. Maybe, maybe that would fix the issue. Maybe the next version of Magic Arena will support sideboards. I don't know. At the end of the day, I think my TLDR reaction to this is past all the snark in the rest of this video is I don't inherently disagree with the decision that's been made here, but the lack of consistency with which these decisions are made and applied is frustratingly baffling, especially when you consider this format has existed for less than a week and they made this decision and it's going to be implemented in just eight days since the set released on Arena, which really says to me, hey, they have the tools to implement changes quickly and acknowledge that things need to be addressed quickly, which means when other things don't get addressed quickly, gosh, if only I could get past this memory lapse and remember the other things that aren't getting addressed quickly, things I would just be a happier person. So again... I, I'm kind of lukewarm on this because, like, this combo wasn't even good. Like, like by their own admission, it wasn't good. They caved to people complaining. If they want to take the game in a direction where we're removing things because they're obnoxious, I've got a laundry list of things Reddit and Twitch chat have complained about at some point. Let's talk. Uh, at any rate, this has been your standard 2022 book of Exalted Deeds has been banned update. See you on stream tomorrow, chat. Thanks for hanging out through my day off. I'll be... I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good evening.